Good morning, Jim Hodges here, Ollie here. Ollie's a standard schnauzer. He's uh, 18 months old. I actually worked with him about a year ago on a one-on-one -on -one basis for one session, went out to meet him, uh, go through some puppy do's and don'ts, a little light obedience. The owners have done a really good job staying with it. The biggest thing with Ollie is he's maturing and, and with obedience, we have to get to the position that when we give a command, our dog does it. Ollie sometimes obeys, sometimes does it, and more importantly, sometimes he's in a command and breaks it. So he came in for a brush up, and we're going to work here. It's raining, we're trying to squeeze this in real quick, uh, but we're going to go through the obedience. If he messes up, fine. He's not big on sitting in the rain, but you're going to see me make him do it, okay? Let's see how this goes. It's going to be quick. Ollie, you want to make it quick? Let's go. So let's go with our walking command. He's right here beside us. Now, it's real important that we praise when he's good. Now, one of the things that happened with you with Ollie, he pulled a lot, going that way or that way. Our goal is to tap that leash back to our leg, back to our leg. All right, remember, we're not here to intimidate, dominate, break your spirit, or hurt him, or have him fear us in any way, okay? He's got to listen, though. When we give him a command and we tap, and he doesn't do it, we're going to tap and tell him no, get him back. If he continues to not listen, we've got to tap a little bit harder. If we're being consistent with what we're doing, he is telling us that what we're doing is not significant enough. So if we're tapping like this, I call it level one, no, let's go, and he continually pulls or goes back to it, we have to go up a level to level two. Once we go up to that next level, we don't go back down for 30 days. He has to know who we are. We do not give a command unless we mean it. I tell people all the time, say what you mean, mean what you say. If you don't mean it, don't say it. That means ignore it sometimes rather than get on him and admit you know he's doing something wrong, but you're uh, powerless to do something about it. Let's go. So remember, good, we praise him, we praise 20 times more than we thought, all right? So doggone important that he does that. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Now sit means sit. The thing about it is he might pop out of the sit or the down. If he didn't sit initially, it would be a level one, no, sit, okay? Just like that, no, sit. He holds it, you come back if you have to correct. You always come back and provide light praise after he does it. So what's going to happen is dogs learn in environments and scenarios. If he's one of these that keep popping up on you, once you've got him to see it, you're going to wait for a couple of, of seconds or so to see if he's going to break the command. Anticipate. If he starts to break it, it's going to be a quick. No, sit. So you see he's holding it. Break. Let's go. He's holding it for us. But if he's been breaking that and popping up on you, He's going to do that again. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Get your nose off the ground. I want his nose off the ground. Of course, when it rains, there's a lot of sense coming up through the ground. But when I'm walking, when I'm working, he has to respect me. When it's a leisure walk, if you want him to smell, that's up to you. When he's out free, he can smell all he wants. But to me, when we're in the process of working, he needs to be able to do what I ask him to do. One more time. Sit. Good boy. Hand signal for sit. If he didn't do it, I would have tapped up, down. Hand signal from the side, good boy. Down means down. He has to stay in that down until I release him. I don't want him to uh, even think about getting up. A little bit of smell on the ground, no. Down, good boy, I love you. So it's no down, and it's a little bite for smelling the ground. Now if I told him, stay. Now stay means he's going to be there for a little bit. If he wanted to smell the ground, chew a, a stick, roll on the side, I don't care. When I tell him to stay, I'm basically telling him to chill. You're going to be there for a little bit, all right? My little bit is at least two minutes. We do a down stay with all of our dogs in here for 10, 20, 30 minutes at a time. And basically the reason we do a down stay is because we're teaching the dog that we're the supreme leader, his leader, in what we say goes. Remember, again, we come back to praise. We praise 20 times more, at least 20 times more, than we bought. First, get wet, isn't it? Let's go. So we break from that, okay? Sit. Good boy. The next thing is the recall command. He does real well with this on leash, off leash as well. You're going to see my hand signal. His job is to come to me and sit in front of me. Come. 
Good boy. I'll pat him, love him. I could give him a treat if I wanted to, okay? But you notice he came and sat. On leash, I always want my dogs to sit. Then they have to hold that sit till I break. When I break, I always step away from my dogs because I am uh, subliminally trying to teach my dogs that I'm working with that I'm the center of the universe. It's always good to be around me. And when I do, break, and they come to me, I'm going to pet them and love them. Let's go. Come on, buddy. Right here. Play. Be fancy. Come on. 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 Come uh, something like that or giving nothing but I'll put them in a place we can sit there and and read and do the things that we want he has to stay there he can relax but he has to stay there what's so good about that we are actually being the leader while he's relaxing and we're not having to work so hard at leading but we're sending that association that we call the shot right let's go of course we have the, the tool to load up in the car or to load up on furniture okay buddy load up Come on. Now load up. Come on. Nah. Something's in the bush. Nah. Come on. Load up. Good boy. I see that. Even though he saw something there, I made him do it right. Break. Let's go. Don't know what's there. It's raining. It could be a frog or something. No, not the ground. No. Let's go. Good boy. Sit. Last thing is the heel command. My clients always ask me about the heel. Do we need it? That's entirely up to you. The heel is a much tighter let's go. Our job is to keep him by our side. Use it in heavy traffic environments, okay? When we stop, he's supposed to sit. We are supposed to help him. We don't run and do a jump stop. We don't stop in the middle of a curve. Why? Because when we do those things, the likelihood of error is going to increase. And I say likelihood of error, I didn't say on his part, because it's our fault if we don't give him a chance to work. Hand signal is like this. Oh, in front, down. Hand signal down from in front, okay? Break. Sit. Okay, here. Let's go. So we're walking, we stop, he sits. Notice he's holding the sit as well. Good boy. Here. Now watch, I'll step off. His job is to come right back into the box. Good boy. Good. Great. Now we can do any of those that we want to do. We can go from one command to another command. It doesn't matter. The big thing is when our dog is doing something we like, we praise him, okay? When he's doing something wrong, we need to think about what he's doing wrong and what we need to do to fix it. I'm always available by phone. You just pick up the phone and give me a call, 336-945-3232. Facebook, Jim Hodges Dog Training. Website, Jim Hodges Dog Training. I want you to have a great dog. He is a real good boy. Uh, his obedience just needs to be a little tighter from your end, and he is going to test you until you do that. So take uh, 30 seconds, a minute, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever time you can, you make it happen as far as doing obedience. When you're going on a long walk and you're just being a leisurely walk, you might see dogs or cats or other people. Let him know on that walk that he still has to listen to you and infuse some sits and downs and comes along the walk. Praise, let him know you're in control. Thank you so much and God bless.